Welcome to Rory Academy YouTube channel where we present information that helps you improve your understanding and knowledge about power electronics technology and its emerging applications. The main categories of available power semiconductor devices are presented in this series. Today we will be focusing on fully controlled metal, oxide, semiconductor field effect transistor, MOSFET. MOSFETs are typically three terminal devices, namely, drain, D, gate, G, and source, S. This is a voltage control device. Although, we have four terminal MOSFET devices now. MOSFETs require the continuous application of a gate source voltage of appropriate magnitude in order to switch on the device, i.e. on state. The gate source voltage applied should be greater than the threshold voltage of the device. The gate current flows into the device when it transitions from its on state, i.e. switched on, to its OFF state, i.e. switched off. This transition occurs when the gate capacitance gets either charged or discharged. In its on state, the drain current follows from the drain terminal to the source terminal. Furthermore, between the drain and source, we have an on state resistance which contributes to losses during the transition between on state and OFF state. An actual MOSFET with its three terminals is highlighted. The MOSFET is fully switched on, i.e., on state, and approximates a closed switch, i.e., OFF state, when the gate source voltage is below the threshold value of the device. Therefore, the device is operated as a switch. The current voltage characteristics of the MOSFET as a voltage-controlled device is illustrated. A MOSFET device is classified into two main categories, namely, N-channel MOSFET and P-channel MOSFET. An N-channel MOSFET is a type of MOSFET in which the channel of the MOSFET is composed of majority electrons as current carriers. When the MOSFET is activated and is on, the majority of the current flowing are electrons moving through the channel. On the other hand, a P-channel MOSFET is composed of majority holes as current carriers. There are two types of N-channel MOSFETs, namely, depletion-type MOSFETs and enhancement-type MOSFETs. Enhancement-type N-channel MOSFETs are devices that are normally turned off. When you connect an enhancement-type N-channel MOSFET, no current flows from drain to source when no voltage is applied to its gate. This is why it is called a normally off device. There is no current flow without a positive gate voltage. A depletion-type N-channel MOSFET is normally on, maximum current flows from drain to source, when no difference in voltage exists between the gate and source terminals. However, if a positive voltage is applied to its gate lead, the drain source channel becomes more resistive, until the gate voltage is so high, the device completely shuts off. The switching times of the MOSFET device are very short, being in the range of a few tens of nanoseconds to a few hundred nanoseconds depending on the device type. N-channel MOSFETs have shorter switching times than P-channel MOSFETs, because their majority carriers are electrons which move faster than holes. The MOSFET device is always packaged as either a module or a discrete device. The module-based MOSFETs is used for high-power applications, while the discrete-based MOSFETs are used in low-power applications. A power MOSFET module consists of two MOSFET devices connected in series. Most power MOSFET module is rated at 1200 volts and current rating of about 100 amperes or more. The pinout configuration of the shown power MOSFET module highlights its gate terminals, G1, G2, source terminals, S1, S2, drain terminal, bus. The electrical schematics of the power MOSFET module shows the two MOSFETs labeled Q1 and Q2 respectively. Also, the freewheeling diode is attached to both Q1 and Q2 respectively. A discrete-based MOSFET device usually come in either A2247-3L package which is a 3-pin device, 3-leg, or A2247-4L package which is a 4-pin device, 4-leg. As described previously, the 3-pin discrete-based MOSFET device consists of the gate terminal, drain terminal, and source terminal. On the other hand, the 4-pin discrete-based MOSFET device consists of the drain terminal, power source terminal, driver source terminal, and gate terminal. The operation of either a 3-pin or 4-pin MOSFET can be described using the current voltage characteristics curve also called the IV characteristics curve. This highlights the operating regions of the MOSFET based on the application of the device. The first region consider is the cutoff region. 
In this region, the MOSFET have no input gate voltage. Therefore, the drain current is zero because there will be no current flow through it. The output voltage is equal to the supply voltage. Therefore, the MOSFET is switched OFF in this region. This implies that the MOSFET operates as an open switch. Furthermore, the saturation region occurs when the gate source voltage exceeds the threshold voltage which allows maximum drain current to flow through the device. Therefore, by applying a suitable gate source voltage to the gate terminal of the device, the resistance of the drain source channel will vary from an off resistance, which is effectively an open circuit, to an on resistance, which makes the device act as a short circuit. The input and gate terminal is connected to the supply voltage. The drain source voltage in its ideal condition is zero volts in the saturation region. The MOSFET operates as a low resistance closed switch due to the impact of the on state resistance. The third region is called the ohmic or linear region where the drain current increases with an increase in the value of drain source voltage. When MOSFETs are made to operate in this region, they can be used as amplifiers. When the input voltage is very high or equal to supply voltage, the MOSFET Q point moves to point A along the load line. The discrete 3-pin MOSFET devices are mainly the conventional class of MOSFET which are made of silicon. Silicon used to be the semiconductor material for MOSFET. However, silicon carbide provides many superior characteristics to silicon for semiconductor materials. Therefore, a silicon carbide MOSFET offers higher efficiency, higher operating switching frequency, and higher operating temperature. While we have some 3-pin silicon carbide MOSFET devices, the 4-pin MOSFET devices are made entirely from silicon carbide. The differences between silicon power semiconductor devices and silicon carbide power semiconductor devices will be presented extensively in another video series. The 4-pin MOSFET device provides in addition to the three pins for the source, drain, and gate of a MOSFET, a separate driver source terminal as mentioned previously. The driver source terminal is a source terminal based on the Kelvin connection principle. Kelvin connections are four pins that provide a current path with two pins are providing voltage measurement, making it possible to eliminate the effects of cable resistance and contact resistance. Therefore, the four-pin MOSFET device uses a Kelvin connection only at the source, by providing a source voltage pin to connect a return wire to the gate driving circuit separately from the power source pin to pass large currents, the effect of drain current on the gate driving circuit is eliminated. The additional driver source terminal contributes to reducing switching losses of the device. MOSFETs are voltage controlled as stated previously, and a MOSFET is turned on and off by controlling the voltage at the gate terminal. Normally, an external gate resistor to control the switching speed is inserted between the driving input voltage supply and the MOSFET gate terminal, and the wiring inductance of the printed circuit board is also added. Also, the package inductance between the source pin and the MOSFET chip is also included. However, the high switching frequency of a silicon carbide MOSFET results in parasitic interference due to the package inductance and the drain source current. However, the negative effect of the package inductance is eliminated by separating the power source terminal from the driver source terminal. Apart from the silicon carbide MOSFET device and silicon MOSFET device, there is the gallium nitride MOSFET device which is also based on the semiconductor material of the device. The gallium nitride MOSFET device has a higher switching frequency and is more compact than its silicon MOSFET device counterpart. Gallium nitride is a highly mobile semiconductor electron semiconductor HEMT, that is proving to be a real added value in emerging applications. While silicon carbide MOSFET has higher electron mobility than silicon, Gallium nitride's electron mobility is higher than silicon carbide MOSFET meaning that gallium nitride should ultimately be the best device for very high frequencies. However, gallium nitride is being used for lower power slash voltage, high frequency applications and silicon carbide for high power and high voltage switching power applications. The gallium nitride switching devices are available in two different types, enhancement mode and cascoded depletion mode. An enhancement mode gallium nitride device works as a normal MOSFET, even if it has a reduced gate to source voltage. It offers a simpler package, a low resistance without a body diode with a bidirectional channel that behaves like this. 
The enhancement mode gallium nitride device is normally off and is turned on with a positive voltage applied to the gate. Enhancement mode gallium nitride devices do not need a negative startup bias unlike the cascoded depletion mode, with a zero bias on the gate, the device is turned off and does not conduct any current. The cascoded depletion mode gallium nitride transistor is normally switched on and needs a negative voltage, which requires a highly mobile semiconductor electron semiconductor, HEMT, connected in series with a low voltage silicon MOSFET to switch the device. Thank you for watching and kindly subscribe to this channel for your weekly videos.